Hey guys, this is Bullets, and this is going to be a quick tutorial for Unkbot and how to make your own 8 ball command. It's kind of a cool thing to have in chat, and also just using the things you learn from this, you can make your own uh, different chat commands and just use the concepts in that way. Anyways, so just to show off what it does, so uh, you type in chat 8 ball, and then you type a question afterwards, and it would pop up with a answer. Also, with mine, it actually makes you pay. 10 bullets, which is the uh, in chat currency, to use it. It's not necessary if you don't want to use currency, but it's an option and it's fairly easy to implement. But anyways, I'm just going to at least give you guys the simple way to do it first and then I'll go into the more difficult way. But anyways, let's make this 8 ball command. So type 8 ball, uh, well, you name it whatever you want, obviously. I'm going to put three L's there because I already have a 8 ball command existing. So it's important to write dummy here, dollar sign dummy, because this makes sure that there's something afterwards. Because if you if you were to just type 8 ball, nothing should pop up like it does here. That's because we have the uh, dollar sign dummy. So then after that, you need to type read rand line, then the, uh, whoops, I double privacy there, then the uh, the folder or the file you'll be using to put all the different responses into. So I've got it already set up right here. Obviously this isn't going to work until I, I write some stuff in it, but we can at least create the command. So anyway, you can type anything you want really here. So just yes, whoops, let's actually type yes, no, maybe, got it, that's later, probably not. Just whatever responses you want, make sure they're each their own line. Don't have blank lines like this, or sometimes it'll print, uh, it'll print nothing. So just make sure it's six lines like this, or as many lines as you want. So save. Now if we go over here and we type 8 ball, it should give us a response. It didn't. That is because we didn't type something after it, so 8 ball. Question. No. So that's a very simple one there. You can add stuff like if you wanted to say user, you can put that in front of all of them. And what it'll do is when you do this again, it'll actually use their. Oh, oops, I forgot to save it. It'll use their name. And then I'll say the response, which makes it a little bit better. It puts a little bit more personalization, I guess, to it and makes it so they actually know it's responding to them. Uh, it's fairly simple, so you could you can add anything else you want to this. It doesn't have to be this simple, and obviously you'd have as many responses as you want. As long as you don't have any blank lines, it should always output something. You can also add your own uh, user cooldown to it or general cooldown to it so you don't, people aren't spamming it in chat which is obviously a good thing so people don't try to troll you by you know spamming it a million times but anyways we're going to uh, go to the more difficult way of doing it but the one that uses currency so uh, I'm going to open up my own 8 ball command I'm just going to copy it here so we have a good guide to go off of so this one will be using currency. You can set whatever value you want it to be. But I'll go over what each sort of data or whatever each value means. So now we're going to be using the remove points command because it lets you obviously remove points and uh, also output a some sort of message. So dollar sign remove points. The first one is who you want to affect. It should always be dollar sign user because then it's whoever did the command is going to be the one that uh, will be losing the points. Uh, set the range, so this is the minimum. So you could set like a random range, so you could set it to be like one to 10, as a random how much points they lose. So, uh, but I just have it set flat 10 there. Then after that, this is the message that they'll receive. So this is the eight ball uh, message. So it says user pays, then I do this. So it tells them how much they've paid for the eight ball. So you can, if it's always the same value, you could just put 10 there, but just for sort of convenience sake, you just put dollar sign value in case you end up changing it later. So user plays value, then whatever your currency is, chase the eight ball, and then 
whatever sort of message you want. You can have this say anything at all. It doesn't have to even have the value or the username. It can be anything that you want. After that, you're going to have the error message. So if the, if the person doesn't have enough points or it doesn't work for whatever reason, this is the message going to output. So I change it to, you don't have enough bullets to shake the eight ball. So it lets them know that they don't have enough. Now the final one is, this is if you you can set it if it's true that means they can go into negative value so they if you have nine bullets and they do this this error message will never trigger but they can go into negatives because of this I've set the false so if they have nine they won't let it go through and it'll display the error message instead of not take any bullets away from them so you would post all of, as many of these as you want I have Oops, let's undo that. I have around like 40 or so, 36. And it'll print out something like this. So, whoops, let me save it first. Since we added something new to it. Let's do a ball question. And it'll output this because it's the only response. And uh, that's basically it for the tutorial. Uh, I can post these in the description of chats, or not the description of chat, in the description of the video, so you guys can uh, just copy it verbatim and uh, do with it what you will, make whatever sort of chat game you want. 8-Ball's a good starting point, and it's also a really fun thing for people to do once you put it in chat, but you can obviously move on to uh, more complicated things as you go. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what other things you'd like tutorials for. I have a lot of different, a uh, lot of different commands here that I can show you guys how to do. Especially a few of the uh, carnival games that I've been working on. So, let me know what you guys want to see. What you guys are in difficulty with Onkbot. I'm probably fine doing videos for it. But thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.